I'm Samuel Singer. I'm the founder and executive director of Wyoming Stargazing. We have a couple board members here tonight who are going to share with you why they enjoy being part of the organization. Yes, uh, my name is Mike Adler. I'm uh, vice president of uh, Wyoming Stargazing. I was one of the original board members. I've had a lifetime interest in astronomy since I was a kid. I had a telescope at, uh, when I was 10 years old and uh, I've continued to, uh, to uh, keep this interest and, uh, and so having an organization here that would further that interest and bring it to the people here in Jackson Hole, I was all for that. Normally do Friday night open uh, stargazing for people, but because of COVID we haven't, so I've been doing it virtually uh, with my telescope here and sharing it with uh, uh, the community. And so it's just another way in which we in the organization and share the uh, beautiful sky and, the, uh, and our, the knowledge about the sky with the community. Hi, my name is Liz Mosley. I'm one of nine Wyoming Stargazing board members. And I'm here tonight to talk a little bit about why I not only participate in the organization, but support it as well. We have clear night skies out here, which not everyone benefits from. And I think it's important that we educate our community not only about the celestial bodies that we find in those night skies but also the to have a positive environmental impact and to keep them clear. Hi my name is Brad Mead and I'm one of the board members of Wyoming Stargazing. It's an organization that's dedicated to educating people about the night sky and astronomy is a great way to reestablish a perspective on the world, the universe and our place in it. As uh, a lot of you know we're now in the old Bill's giving season and we really appreciate your support to help us continue all of the in-person and online programming that Wyoming Stargazing does for our community and people all over the world. Thanks so much for considering to support us through Old Bills this year.